everyone's trying to do it all and do all the things and run around and be really busy. It's the stillness. It's the open heart. It's, it's so powerful. You, you, you raise your hand in the morning. You say, I'm available. And you just put out this, you, you drop into an open hearted state. And that's what I was saying about that's when everything starts to make sense. We, that Mary Oliver poem, you don't have to walk on her knees for a thousand miles in the desert. We're literally living so much from that place. We, we just keep shaming ourselves with so much unworthiness, so much we have to do, so much we have to accomplish, so much that's out there. What if you just opening your heart loving, smiling, having what you said, excruciating hope is what I would say about that little excruciating hope, right? And, and just starting to drop in right in this moment, open hearted, ah, giving yourself the feeling of an open hearted vibration in this moment. This is our creative center. Anyway, nothing gets created from here. It all gets created from here. So you walk outside, even in this moment, what would it feel like to just drop in, just open your heart a little, feel that, just feel yourself opening your heart a little softer, a little love for yourself, a little compassion, a little self self love, a little love for those people on this zoom screen, a little love for the world around you open heart feels so good. So natural, the most familiar, unfamiliar feeling in the world. And from there, what if that was all the cost of admission to the most riches and successful, yummy deliciousness of this life? And it actually is. It actually is. Like I sit there and I marvel at the people who reach out to me can I be on your show? I want to sit with you. I'm like, you can sit on anyone's show. I know, but this is what I'm looking for. What you're selling, that's what I'm buying. I just want to, I want to be with someone who's home. Are you home? Let's, let's connect. Let's see each other. So the thing about it is it's the empathy for yourself and other people. It's the empathy to really get it. You, you've been sold a lie you, you don't have to get a PhD. You don't have to earn love. You don't have you for yourself. It starts there. You are worthy. Know the truth. You can be a vessel. You can literally be, we can be a conductor for divine light and love in this world. We literally can like those acu. If the acupuncture needle can do it, this stupid little metal thing, I can do it, right? I can do it because that's my birthright to do it. And all I have to do to do it is open my heart. I don't have to go to Harvard. I don't have to fix my tooth. I don't have to be, I don't have to be better than Oprah or just as cool or anything. I don't have to write four bestsellers. I can literally just stand in a loving, open-hearted vibration and care, care that my intention is genuine and care that I am seeking to give some empathy and some true investment in the well-being of the people around me, the, the, the trees around me, all of that. Like you, you step into that and it's just, wow, like your, your taxi cab light is on. Next thing you know, God just starts sending you opportunities to start checking out. He's like, how about this one? What about this? What do you think of it? And you're like, I don't know. This feels good. It all just feels so good. And you're over it. You're over the, why buy that road? Why, if you could buy any possibility, why put all your chips on the one that requires so much that's, that's, that's achievement oriented? Like, what is that? Right. That's, that's called, that's the lie that we have to overcome.